Boita, bonjour, buenos dias, children of Clan Harry Primary and staff, parents, friends. I thought we'd have a quick look today at working with some data through the Hub platform. Uh, best thing to do, as you can see on the screen, we're on the Hub, as you can see. If you're coming to Just Too Easy, we're working with data, so we'll go through to the application J2 Data. And then right up toward key stage one and key stage three, top end of key stage two, really, we're looking at here. We go to database. The first thing we need to do is set up the fields of our database. What I thought we could do is characteristics or the makeup of our class in school, for example. Um, so the first field, we could just have pupil name. The type of information we'll need is going to be text as opposed to number or picture. So it'll just be the child's name. And then we can go to the second one. Our second field could be, um, for example, uh, gender. And we could be talking about basically male or female. That's again going to be a text answer. Height will be slightly different. Obviously, it'll be a number. We could do the height, um, let's say, in meters. So we can use digital there if necessary. Uh, moving along, hair color, will be text. Eye color, again, will be text. And I've got an extra one, special talents, again, text. Okay, so there's the fields all set up. We'd move on then to start, well, we give it a title. Um, Class six. We'll give it go through to the form. So the first one, pupil name. Let's let's make myself the first one, Mr. Lloyd, male, height in meters, one point seven two, hair color, brown, eye color. Excuse me, blue. Special talents. Um, Rugby, rugby, and teaching. How about that? And then I'd save my record. Second one, then we go through. We could use, for example, Miss Burke um, would be female, height in meters. Should we have a guess? 1.60, be kind, I think. Hair color, blonde, eye color. I think blue, special talents, teaching, and karate. And then we go on, we create a third pupil name then, and so forth. What you can do then is you can view your information in a table. So there we've got Mr. Lloyd's record there, Miss Burke's record below. Uh, we can look at a chart, and you can compare, you can compare different parts of your database on the chart. Um, but what you need to do basically is you need to get as many records as you can here. So for class six, for example, we'd end up with about 28 to 30 records of all our pupils. And then there's a lot more things we can do with our chart and our database then. But that's the best thing to do for now. Why don't you fill in a database perhaps for your family or the people you know best and see how you get on. Have an experiment. We'll talk about it again next week. Take care. Bye for now.